Climate change. It's not a distant environmental threat anymore. It's here. Reshaping communities, livelihoods, and even economies. And while global leaders debate policy frameworks and emission targets, some of the most powerful solutions are emerging from the ground up. Nowhere is this truer than in Pakistan, a nation standing right on the front line of climate disruption. According to the Global Climate Risk Index 2023, Pakistan ranks seventh in the world for climate-related disaster exposure. Think about what that really means. Melting glaciers are threatening water supplies for millions. Monsoon patterns have become unpredictable and recurring floods and droughts are tearing through farmlands. Yet, amid these daunting realities, something remarkable is happening. Communities across Pakistan are not waiting for top-down solutions. They are innovating, creating local responses that not only protect lives and livelihoods, but also offer valuable lessons for the global community. Take Pakistan's youth, for instance. They have become a driving force in this transformation. Organizations like the Pakistan Youth Climate Network are pushing forward policy discussions, advocating for renewable energy and plastic reduction initiatives. At universities such as NAST, young engineers are developing technologies like solar-powered irrigation systems, tackling water scarcity while helping farmers stay productive even under harsh conditions. And it is not just about technology. Movements like Plant for Pakistan have shown how collective action can reshape environmental consciousness. In 2023 alone, Tens of thousands of volunteers came together to plant millions of trees. Beyond these grassroots movements, structured community-based adoption programs are reshaping how people think and act. For example, Islamic Relief's Karachi Climate Project has reached over 30,000 people with initiatives that combine awareness campaigns, farmer training, and local organization. One of the most fascinating aspects here is the mindset change. People are moving from viewing floods and heat waves as an act of fate to understanding them as a part of climate change. Something humanity can actually respond to. And here is something often overlooked. Women are at the heart of this shift. Many adaptation programs are empowering women, not just as participants, but as community leaders, educators, and decision makers. Now, all these local efforts gain strength from national coordination. Pakistan's National Adoption Plan, approved in 2023, provides exactly that structure. It emphasizes that adoption must work from the ground up, aligning national goals with local realities. To make this happen, networks like the Pakistan Climate Resilience Network bridge the gap between science and practice, connecting researchers with farmers, entrepreneurs, and policy implementers. But how do these local actions connect to the bigger picture? The global climate change. Let's consider a few examples. Along Pakistan's coastal regions, mangrove restoration isn't just protecting communities from rising seas, it's also capturing carbon, contributing to global mitigation efforts. Meanwhile, drought-resistant crops and climate-smart farming practices developed locally are now being studied as models for other climate-vulnerable nations. This is what's often called the scaling principle. When a local innovation proves successful, it can be replicated, adopted, and multiplied elsewhere. It is an approach that's not only cost-efficient, but also deeply rooted in local knowledge, something top-down international programs often miss. Take Climate Innovation Pakistan or the CLIP as another example. It is an accelerator that supports startups in renewable energy, clean mobility, and circular economy sectors. By helping early-stage ideas grow into market-ready solutions, it turns small innovations into big opportunities. This creates a powerful feedback loop. Local action strengthens national capacity, and that, in turn, feeds into international progress. Ultimately, the story here isn't just about cutting emissions. It's about building resilience. When communities design solutions that fit their context, they reduce displacement, prevent poverty traps, and even enhance stability across borders. So what does Pakistan teach us about climate adaptations? That hope doesn't always come from grand declarations or distant summits. Sometimes, it comes from a farmer installing a solar pump, a student leading a tree planting drive, or a coastal village restoring its mangroves. Each local act contributes to something much larger, a blueprint for collective survival and sustainable development in an age of uncertainty.